The Bible says that God's Word is a sword. It's a hammer that shatters a rock, and it's, a, it's soft like a, a balm. It's sweet to the taste like honey. And so we want to come with a spirit of expectancy before God this morning and hear from Him. That the cross would be a message of victory for a king. That the crown of thorns would be a rightful crown for our king. We say we glory in these crown of thorns he wore. Do we? He's our refuge and strength, not because seas don't roar, but because there's a river whose streams make glad the city of our God. Worship is the creational purpose. It's, it's the beginning of the Bible. It's the theme all the way through. It is the chief end of mankind. God must be the foundation. God must be the beginning. God must be the goal. He must be the everything of it, we can say. Our spiritual identification with Christ means His benefits are our benefits. His resurrection means our resurrection. His gifts are our gifts. His inheritance is our inheritance. God's glory refers to His plan of being properly known, properly, rightly, powerfully experienced, and in light of that knowledge and experience being worshipped. It's almost like Paul is saying, guys, you focus on loving and the leading will take care of itself. Don't focus on your wife's need to submit or follow or honor. You've got plenty to keep yourself busy with this small task, lover like Christ loved the church. Well, because Jesus died in our place, and because he was raised victoriously on the third day, we have every reason to praise, to sing, to shout. Uh, we have every reason to go to him in prayer. Well, I tried to think of an illustration this week, how living hope is central to uh, what these verses teach us. And I thought of horseradish. When I hear that kind of take on David and Goliath, I can't help but think of Steve Martin's little speech in Three Amigos about El Guapo. I'll quote it for you. <laughs> Do not put off repentance. Do you not know that putting off repentance today may mean you never repent again? Call on him while he may be found. Seek the Lord today.